What's going on YouTube, Gsno right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting on iOS 12.1.x and 12.x and so on for a jailbreak. The rootless jailbreak has been updated and it now supports more devices and has more improvements so that you can run tweaks before Uncover is released. So Jake James posted quite a lot of things a few hours ago, but one of the important things is that rootless jailbreak now supports iPhone 5s and iPhone 6 but it has only been tested on 5s. However, he posted quite a lot of things in here, and as you can see, it's a whole thread in here. But if you go ahead on GitHub, where you should probably head in the first place in order to get the rootless jailbreak, you can see exactly what is supported and what is not. So it says in here, support all A9 to A11 devices, and it also supports the A7 through A8, which is pretty much the iPhone 5s, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, and the iPod Touch 6th generation, and of course, the iPads in this category. So yeah, what is not supported for the moment is the A12 devices, which is a problem because there are quite a few of them, and this is pretty much the iPhone XS Max, the iPhone XS, and of course the iPhone XR, and some iPads as well, which yeah, is a problem because those are not supported for the moment. Now, the problem with it is that the exploit itself that has been used in Rootless Jailbreak, as it's mentioned in here, Voucher Swap, which is used for the 16K devices, which are the newer ones, um, this pretty much works on A12 no problem, because if you remember, I made GeoFalza, which is supporting the A12 devices, that is pretty much Falza without jailbreak, and the exploit actually worked. Yes, with some minor offset changes in the exploit, but it does work. The problem is that the jailbreak that Jake has created uses a patch finder, which is of course not working currently on A12, as far as I know, and probably even other components that may not be working on A12. However, those are are fixable because the exploit itself works, which means that we can have kernel read and write primitives, which can be used in order to apply various patches. Now, of course, if you want to use this, this is not a jailbreak that contains Cydia, so this is very important. You do not get Cydia with this. You can install tweaks, however, and I made videos like a week and a half ago when this has been released on pretty much what you can do with it and what it supports, and you can install a big variety of tweaks using the uh, tutorials provided by Jake James in here and the information, but you would have to patch them yourself. It's not a very easy process, and as you can see in here, it tells you exactly what you need to do. And of course, it gives you the details on how to apply the patch. So you just run the patcher, and you of course specify the path to the deb and the path for the output if you want to. Now, of course, this is a very important step because if you do not patch the uh, deb file, which is pretty much the tweak, it will fail to load. And of course, during the patching, you would pretty much sign it as well to pretty much make core trust happy. So there are a lot of things involved in this jailbreaking here. So I would definitely wait for the uncovered jailbreak if you think you cannot do all this patching or if you're afraid you're going to mess something up. And that's really not worth it, especially since the uncovered jailbreak is coming. Pound Ohm posted just a few hours ago, quote, CDR Substrate can now load tweaks in the App Store apps with Uncover on iOS 12. So they're very, very, very close at this point. The CDR works, the CDR Substrate works, which means that all the tweaks are working fine. There is already a remount and it has been available for like weeks now. And of course, they already dealt with the hurdle of the core trust, which, you know, is pretty much uh, dealt with by signing the binaries, which is what core trust wants in the first place but it gets the job done. So yeah, it's not a proper bypass, but at least it does give you a jailbreak, which I guess it's fine. So Uncover will come very soon, so I don't think there is a point into messing with patching manually and stuff like that anymore. But if you want to, this has been updated and it works with the uh, A9 through A11 and A7 through A8 devices as well. And of course, if you do not want to use Uncover and you're just fine with manually patching and sideloading the tweaks, then of course you can keep on using this one until you update to a new iOS version, which by the way you shouldn't do because iOS 12.1.4 and 12.1.3 cannot be jailbroken at this time. So if you're running iOS 12.1.2 or lower, stay there if you want to keep your jailbreak. Anyways, that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, a lot of news for the jailbreak community. The uh, jailbreak that Jake has created, although it doesn't have Cydia, has been very very useful as a buffer while waiting for a proper jailbreak with Cydia and all that jazz. So if you want to use it, go ahead. It's relatively easy to use once you get the grip of patching and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you for watching, I'm Gio Snow, until the next time.
Peace out.